Hello again. Um, I'm going to dive right into question number two. So you said that maybe on some deep subconscious level, it was a journey from which I did not intend to return. After Henry, I had nothing left to lose. <coughs> Do you think that riding the world by yourself was reckless? As a group of mostly women, we would like to know, was your recklessness necessary to your journey, and do you approach your current rides in similar ways? Is it you that's reckless or the world? Uh, reckless is an interesting word. I think it's a relative, uh, well, subjective word, because what one person finds reckless, another might not. And my bar of recklessness is pretty high. Um, certainly, riding the world by myself was an experiment in challenging the preconceived concept or idea that women um, doing something like that alone uh, are putting themselves at greater risk or in danger. And is the world dangerous for lone women? And I did want to challenge that concept or at least explore it. So from what I found, the world is a lot safer than we think it is. And so it, it wasn't actually being reckless. Um, but if you think it's dangerous and then jump into doing it, you could call that reckless. However, at the time, I didn't care um, about the danger aspect. As I had said, I had nothing to lose and I wasn't certainly wasn't thinking clearly and, um, and didn't really care if something happened to me. So now, how do I approach current rides? I think I'm much more, I think I think about the consequences or the possible um, everything that possibly could happen that could go wrong. Um, but I think because I've done quite a few of these kind of challenging rides now, I don't feel it's reckless because I, I know, first of all, how to, how to cope or, or how to, you know, handle, uh, situations. Um, but secondly, I, I just think that the world is, no, the world is not reckless. The world sure has a lot of randomness to it and uh, anything can happen but that just exactly the same as if you stay home and you're walking on the street i mean look two days ago um i i fell cycling uh, i'm always falling of course but i cashed my knee open and had to go go to the hospital and get stitches and uh and my knee is in bad shape now but like, i was about to leave for asia and cycling across asia in fact today i was supposed to leave um, and if it had happened in Asia, it would have, I would have been a lot worse off. But, you know, I cycle the world, cycle through India, cycle through Istanbul like crazy, traffic full, mad drivers, everything possible, and never had a crash and never had an accident. And the times that I do crash are for the stupidest things, like for no, absolutely no reason. So, you know, anything you do can be reckless if you think about it in terms of danger, because the world, I mean, anything can happen and it doesn't matter where you are so not particularly I don't don't think that you need a certain amount of recklessness I think that you need to take into account uh, all possible factors and whether the risk is worth the reward for everything you do and uh, and if you if you can say yes that the reward is worth the risk then you know go for it because if you're if you think about every possible thing that could go wrong for everything you do you're never gonna do anything you're gonna always be bound by this fear um, of everything that can happen. So, and you know, when you live in your safe neighborhood and you're walking down the street, you don't think about everything. You don't think that a car could swerve around the corner and hit you. You don't think that you could slip on a, an orange peel on the street. You don't think someone could come run, run up with, with a gun and, and shoot you in the head, but all of these things are possible. So if we lived like that, we would, we would never leave the house. We would just be like paralyzed with, um, with the fear of, of consequences. So I think, just to go through life in general, you need a certain level of recklessness or at least not think too hard on things. So, and certainly if you're going to do any big challenge or adventure, um, yeah, you need to raise your reckless bar somewhat.